Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to some luxury lines. Now I didn't buy these. These are come all the way from Hull, courtesy of my darling sweetheart, Rachel. She sent me two packages, one which was full of lucky bonus. My God, you sent me so many. And yeah, there's a video. I'll leave a link to it um, in the corner somewhere where you'll see me scratch them off on the hunt for horseshoes and top hats. And you sent me these luxury lines. I can't see... I'm, Looked all over, and I can't find them anywhere in Peterborough. But you had them in Hull, so you sent me a load to do. And I hope you don't mind. I watched another channel do this, and yeah, the white squares cause a problem. And you'll see what I mean, because I've left one where I'm going to scratch off where we've still got the white squares uncovered. So what I've done is I've coloured in every single white square. Yeah, maybe a, a task to give to a small child that you trust to stay within the lines. Don't know how it's going to work out. It, it will either be a horrible, horrible mess or it'll be like, yes, that's exactly how I'm going to do it. Maybe I should have tested it on one card before covering all four, but that's the way I roll. Typical bloke. So um, let's get into these looks. I'll look on the back of the card and then I'll scratch one off where I have left the white squares and you'll see exactly what the issue is. And then, um, yeah, then we'll see how the coloured in ones do. Right, so no £6 win is the first thing I notice on here. It's gone. That doubled up three pound prize. So if you scratch off for free, you know you haven't gonna ugh, you know you're not gonna multiply it. Um you can multiply the fifteen because you got a fair, you can multiply the five because you get ten, can't multiply the twenty, multiply the fifty, and that's it. So you can multiply the five, the fifteen, the ten, and the fifty. But you can multiply the five by three. Yeah. You could multiply. No, I'm not even going to. You can multiply some of the points. Anyway, <laughs> it's one in three point five five odds. Um, you must have seen this game played many, many, many times. Um, it's a shame they didn't play test this one. I mean, they got Steve from Accounts to um, play test this card. Steve from Accounts couldn't care less. He's an accountant. That's that's my theory. A lot of cards that are coming out for more win. I don't think they play test them. I think they go, well, buried treasure and lucky lines worked. So luxury lines, same format. It's just going to work well. Why bother play testing what we put out? Here we go. This is where you'll see why Steve has got a bad reputation in my house. So look, using my lucky potato, here we go. I'm going to scratch off the first two symbols, and it's a vault and a bank. It's a white one. You watch this. Can you all tell that I've scratched it off? I'm sure you can. <laughs> Steve! God damn you, Steve! Alright, so looks like I haven't even started playing yet, doesn't it? <sighs> right, carrying on. So a gem and a TV. Now, I'm not cynical. And I don't think they've done this so that... Um... Oh, someone's at the door. Hang on, I'll be back in a sec. Blimey, another parcel. Wow, ain't no being spoiled. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm not being cynical. And I don't think it's on purpose. There's a TV. But a lot of the cards, I think it's going to be very easy for people to miss wins. Like the... Um, um, what's the one? The seven one with the tiny little numbers. Yeah. I think we're all going to struggle. Car keys. And a bow. And this car keys. They don't even stick to the same colour. Like that was a white one. This is a blue. <laughs> a ring. And a voucher. How are you doing, by the way? Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you struggling on this card to see how I'm doing? Perfume sofa. There'll always be someone who'll say, yeah, 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 I've got no problems. But be honest. Be honest. And think about people who've got eyesight issues or are colorblind. There's... Don't, oh, and don't let Steve from accounts play touchy cards. VIP and a passport. What else we got? Snowboard. Oh, it's a menu. Snowboard and a menu. 
do like the new symbols though. I do like them. Deck chair and a belt. So that's the first thing I'm buying when I win a million pounds. <laughs> I'm going out and buy myself a new belt. Belt and a deck chair. And I get the reference. Just makes me laugh. Oh, it's not a necklace anymore. It's a bracelet. Um, I'll find a win there because <laughs> I ain't got the, I ain't got the, I ain't got the yacht. So it's a gift and a bracelet. So no more pearl necklace. It's a pearl bracelet apparently. We got one of that right. Let's see if I got a win. I don't think I have. Don't think I have. Hard to tell. Anyway, let's see how my coloured in version does. Here we go. So eyes down, looking for a win. Passport and holidays, please scratch off okay. Now that I've done this, I am a bit worried. This is gonna be a mess. Passport and holidays. So Oh no, no, that went alright. Passport and holidays. Vault and a sofa. I think if I do it again, I'll use a red pen next time. So it's not just blue and blue. Vault and a sofa. So far, so good. Bow and a watch. Bow and a watch. Plain and a menu. Coins and a belt. Is this is this easier by the way? Be honest as well, because it took me ages to do this. I'm gonna call it a necklace, because it that's what it is. Voucher and a pearl necklace. Voucher. It's what Lisa Simpson wears. A tub in a bank. Rubber tub tub. TV and a lounger. Or deck chair. Don't call it a lounger. Deck chair. And then last but not least, a bag and a gem, or an emerald really, isn't it? All right, there we go. I hope that made it easy to see. Um, it did for me. So let me know in the, uh, in the comments. All right, snowboard and a diamond. Pain in the bum though, coloring in, I need I need to find a small child with some colouring crayons. <laughs> colouring for me. Bag and perfume. Bag and perfume. Do, 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 do. Sofa and red carpet. Which is no longer red carpet. A necklace and a bow. A bath and a bank. Present and a vault. So present and a vault. So menu would be nice. TV and a belt. TV and a belt. Limo and a watch. Come on. I want to scratch off the multiplier at the top. I wanna I wanna win. <laughs> ring and a deck chair. So there's the deck chair. There's the ring. So no win. Oh. Oh. 
Two cards left. Back to back winners, please. Fifteen pound in play. So, ooh, only takes one win. Holidays and a voucher. Gemini yacht. All together, actually. Gem and a yacht. And we got it. Gem down there. Menu and a sofa. Where were you on the other card? Passport and a watch. Passport and a, a watch. Ring and a bath. I'm going to call it a tub. <laughs> do you call it a tub? I'm going for a tub. You don't go for a tub, do you? You go for a bath. Diamond and a present. VIP and a bank. Then we got a belt and a deck chair. We got a win. Yes. Oh, I was dreading it being um, a load of duds. Plain and a bag. Plain, a plain bag. And it is a plain bag as well. Isn't it? very colorful so let's just check we've got it so deck chair check um gem check yacht check diamond check we got a line and it's for at least a fiver come on let's multiply it 15 pound in play come on come on it's a fiver oh well oh well it's a win and we got one card i left oh i'm sorry so happy we got winning amongst all those cards. <laughs> right, deck chair and some coins. Deck chair and coins. Television and a jam. Could get a back-to-back -back winner. Would be exceedingly nice to get a Mr. Kipling win. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to call that a Mr. Kipling win now. Exceedingly nice. Bag and a VIP. Bag and a VIP. Back-to-back -back winners are Mr. Kipling wins. Yeah. We'll go with that. I think it's the fumes from the pen that I used. It's, it's going to be a little bit... <laughs> a little bit high. Right, um, a watch in a bank. Ooh, ooh. If ever I want needed a bath, if ever I needed a bath, it's now. <laughs> Come on, it must be bath time. Voucher and a vault. Mm, holidays and a bow. It's a belt and some perfume. Let's do one at a time. Menu. Come on. We've only had a fiver. Come on, Orwin. Don't be like Camelot. Come on. It's a ring. Cool. I thought Camelot was bad. Right. Um, no win on that one. But we did get one win. And it was for £5. Pounds. We've got a line there because it wasn't multiplied. Um, yeah, thank, thank you so much, darling. I really, really love you to bits. You know that. You, and I don't like scratching cards from people because I always feel bad when I don't get um, the money back that they invested. I mean, that's such a generous gift you've given me, yeah? Um, especially so from you. Uh, uh, I really wanted to get a profit session with your cards. It is what it is. Um, 
and, and I appreciate the gift, and it's, it's so generous. And I hope everybody in the comment section says a big thank you too. Um, I haven't seen these in Peru yet, and so I wouldn't have done this card yet. So if, you've, if you're like, hooray, I've seen Luxury Lions on Paul's channel, it's because of Rachel. So please give her a big thank you in the uh, in the comment section. And also, let me know if you prefer um, what I did, where I coloured it in. Um, that's what it looks like without me colouring in um, squares. I mean, I'm sure you could squint and probably see that it wasn't a winner. Um, but... I'm sure there's some of you who go like, oh, we've got two lines there. Actually, you two more down the bottom there as well. Because it is, I, I don't know, why, why put out a card with that colour scheme? It's either you're not putting the effort in or win, or you're hoping that people will miss wins. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. I can't think of a third reason. I can only think of two reasons. You either can't be bothered check that the cards play well or you wanted it to be easy to miss wins get a play tester get somebody who um is visually impaired get somebody who's color blind get somebody who's never played scratch cards in their life because people who know these sort of games will go oh i know what i'm doing and go straight into it get people who do play scratch cards a lot and and can spot things from a mile away that that don't work very well just just play test the cards and, and don't go down the route of Camelot, please. Um, anyone who's watching this video, what I'd say is this. Whilst the cards are as shocking as they are, and you see it on all the scratch card channels, I won't be buying them. I would vote with your, with your cash and not buy the cards. Keep watching the scratch card channels, yeah? When we start winning, then I'd buy the cards. But for now, if you got, if you got to buy them, just buy one, maybe two. Don't don't go and do what we do and buy loads of cards. It it's clearly set up where we're not winning at the moment. All win. It's your chance. It's your chance to make scratch cards a thing that people love again. At the moment, with, without the wins, with the poor designs, it's it's not fun. It's not fun. Same old rehash cards. Lack of wins. I'm sorry to sound really negative, but I really I'm only doing scratch cards because of the channel. I really would quit. <laughs> if, I, if I weren't doing the channel, I would quit. They are well, luck luster at best is how I'd describe it. And I know there's gonna be you um a few of you that are gonna disagree with me massively, and that's fine. Absolutely agree that everybody has got a different opinion on um on things, but scratch cards are pants right now. Same games. Poor design, worse prizes, nobody wins. If they do win, it's after spending like £500 to get like a £20 win. It's, yeah, yeah. Plus, I wonder where all the money's going. I mean, with, with um, Camelot, it was all going to a Canadian pension fund, wasn't it? Where's all the money going with all win? Is there, is there some sort of destination where all the cash is going? I'd be interested to know where that's going. I might have to have a look into that. Anyway... God, I'm sounding really negative, aren't I? I don't, I don't mean to. I really don't mean to. Um, thank you again for the bottom of my heart, darling. I love you to bits. And that was such a generous gift from you. I wish I could have got um, a better return for you. Um, and again, like I said, just just comment how you feel. Should I carry on colouring in the uh, the white squares or do you think that's um, absolutely fine and it's easy to, uh, to see the wins and the not wins? Right. <coughs> Sorry. Cough came from nowhere. Right. Look after yourself. Know you love. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.